Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making spicy bow tie pasta. It's a quick stovetop recipe, could be made in less than 30 minutes, and every single person you serve this to will enjoy it. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is cook the beef. I use ground beef 80-20, and I like to break it up with my hands, but of course you may use a wooden spoon to do so. I cooked it over high heat, and while that was going, I chopped an onion. These are the green chilies that I use. I've been cooking a lot of Indian food at home lately, so I've been using a lot of those green chilies, and some red crushed peppers and garlic. Almost forgot the garlic. Give everything a good mix, and then we are going to pour in some red wine. That's optional, but I like the flavor that the wine gives it. And here are some crushed tomatoes. I was planning on using fresh tomatoes along with the crushed peppers, but then I decided not to last minute. All right, give everything a good mix. And we are going to let this simmer over medium low heat for about 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes covered. Oh, but before we cover it, we are going to add a little bit of brown sugar. That's optional, but I do like to add brown sugar. If you're wondering why I added some brown sugar? Brown sugar just helps cut down on the acidity, or you may use regular white granulated sugar. The sauce looks good. It's a nice deep red color, just how I like it. Make sure to season well with salt, pepper, oregano, whatever seasonings you like. I added a couple dollops of fresh ricotta cheese or you may use sour cream. I just wanted to lighten up the sauce a bit, make it pink, make it creamier. And I know I said I love a deep red color, so don't say that. Now I'm contradicting myself. But yeah, I like a creamy pink pasta at times. All right, so give everything a toss. I use bow tie pasta, but you may use penne, whatever you have on hand. And I added some mozzarella cheese. At this point, you can turn off the heat. The heat from the uh, pasta will melt all the cheeses. I grated some Parmesan cheese on top. Basil in this would be amazing, but I didn't have any. The exact recipe can be found on my website, cookedbyjulie.com. Today is Friday night. Make this for dinner, serve it with some garlic bread and salad, and you will be so happy. I was super pleased with this dish. It was spicy, but not over the top spicy. If you want it very spicy, use five green chilies. I use two, but next time I'll use three and a half because I like my food super spicy. Or maybe I'll use five. I don't know. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I want to thank you all so much for watching. 